Welcome back, everybody. This is Samco with CoGamers.net and the Shadowcast. And today I'm going to do a little tutorial on how I think the best way to do farming is. So I went ahead and did some prep work here. This is a 16 by 16 um, area that I have dug out. And if you look, it is right in the corner of a claim. And what I've worked out is the fact that like these corners right here, if you notice, this is these work out into exact chunks. So if you come like 16 blocks off of that corner, that's always going to be the exact chunk. You're not going to have to do any weird math to try to figure it out. Just go into the very corner of wherever your claim is then come out 16 by 16. That's going to be the exact chunk. Anyway, so we've got 16 by 16 <clears throat> area. We want to do that because like updates happen per chunk, right? So to have the most efficient farm, we want to have it exactly in one chunk. Um, the way that Creativeverse uh, works is that um, you can only uh, plant crops if they're right next to water. But right next to water doesn't mean just um, horizontally. So. What we're going to do is we dug this down uh, too deep and we're going to um, go ahead and start filling this all with water um, all the way across Um, so that uh, we can uh, then we're going to put a layer of dirt right on top of it water to be honest with you is a little wonky they kind of treat it as a block which makes it sometimes kind of difficult to work with can be difficult to work with um, but you can get an infinite source going like I've just done there and then we're gonna just grab some more and of course my mining cell breaks right in the middle of a tutorial video that's supposed to be super quick uh, let's go up here we'll grab another one I've got another one in the chest it's this chest this chest. There we go. Let's put that right over there. Ooh. But um, you get the idea. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish placing all this water all the way across this, this bottom section. I'm going to make a cut here and um, once that's completed then we'll come back and we'll go to the next stage. Okay, and we're back. Um, that took a little bit longer than what I would have expected it to. Um, the water is a little goofy. Um, kind of get bounced around a little bit, even though water doesn't really affect you as far as current goes, not yet at least for Creativeverse. But every once in a while, if you're standing kind of in the block or half in the edge, and it'll kind of push you and bounce you around and you kind of lose track of where you're at. But anyway, you want to get it to where it's like flat like this. Um, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and put a marker here um, at each of these corners just so I don't lose where I'm at. Um, this one's going to be marked obviously because of that. That's going to get marked because of that. Um, and then we're just going to fill this in. Um, want to be sure that you don't fill in the water. You just want to fill in the top layer. So it'll be dirt, water, and then dirt again. Um, because yeah you don't want to actually fill in where the water was where the water's at uh, I suggest going I haven't done any testing to see if flowing water actually works I think it does um, as far as like irrigating crops um, but it's also kind of loud and if you uh, at least <clears throat> 
it like this, it's a little bit quieter. So let's see here. Go ahead and fill this all in. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this uh, the rest of this in, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got the <clears throat> the ground all done here. Um, this is just a personal choice. I'm gonna go ahead and put my um, fences right here. So this is actually gonna make our um, garden not 16 by 16. It's gonna make it uh, 14 by 14. Um, but I like having I don't like having stuff going across the chunk borders, so. But we'll get it. So, get this. Is that right? Does that go there? I don't know. I feel like that's not right, but. As far as I know, animals and, and players can't actually trample crops, so this is more just an aesthetic situation, but let's count this up real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, that's what I figured. So this actually needs to go here. I was thinking that that was... We can double check that by just going like this. Yeah, see, that's like the wall. So that's the edge of the of the the dirt there, the hole that we dug out. So we want to be just inside that edge. So we are now. There's that. Okay. So now we got a 14 by 14 square. We want to equip our hoe, and now we can just go through here and. We can till the ground and get it ready to have things planted on. Um, whenever you till, the texture, if you notice, is going to um, be the way that you have it. But you can actually, oops, I've not shown this. You can actually kind of rotate the block around and it'll correct that situation. So, um, but it's gonna, it's gonna be, the, the texture is gonna orient just like the rest of the blocks do with how you're looking at the block whenever you actually um, go through and till it. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna till this entire area up. As you can see, it's gonna take a little bit of time and then I will be back as soon as that's completed. So I wanted to do a little um, update real quick. Um, I was gonna till this whole area up, but it is fairly slow. And actually what happens is if you don't um, have a crop planted over tilled ground, then grass is gonna spread over the top of it. So the grass is already starting to spread over the area that I've already tilled. And um, I don't want to waste my time tilling up the whole area without uh, having something planted there. So um, we're just going to go ahead and skip straight to the seed preparation part of the farming tutorial. So if you remember, maybe it was not this episode, um, to get seeds, you just need to take 
whatever the plant is. So we've got crisp head lettuce, turnips, wheat, and uh, then there's horned melons, which I don't have any horned melons right now. Um, and horned melons are actually found in the jungle biome. So, but we can just start with these. I'm gonna put them into a processor and um, it's gonna give you two seeds per thing. So probably wanna do two rows. Yeah, so we'll do, um, we could actually do, let's do, yeah, let's do two rows. So that's uh, 14, 14, so we need 28 seeds, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 14, so we can actually cancel that one. So that'll be 28 seeds of that. Um, we'll do the same thing here. Oh, we ran out. I can't believe I'm that low on wheat either. But that's okay. Um, what you can do is we'll just do this. So for one plant, you get two seeds. It's just I haven't been keeping up on my farming. So we'll just do it like that. So we'll grab these and let the rest of those process while I go and kind of give you a, a rundown on it. So we'll go back over to our garden and I'll go ahead and just retill this real quick. It'll only take five seconds. Okay, so here we've got our um, wheat seeds. So we're just going to place them down and how you're going to know if they're actually going to grow or not is one, you can look at them um, and it would tell you like, you know, fallow if it wasn't going to grow, but then you can visually see it. If you see the little sparkles coming off the top of the, the seeds there, that means that it's planted correctly. And that's because we've got tilled earth and then right below it, we've got water. So it's planted correctly. So we'll plant another one right next to it. And then those will be our two, our two rows of that. Um, then we'll go ahead and grab this. We'll do our two rows of turnips. There's that. And then we'll do our two rows of lettuce like this we could actually I think do three rows of each yeah and then we'd have two extra rows after that but we'll go ahead and just start with that but you can see these are all sparkling and they're all good to go um, these say um, not fertilized how you get fertilizer is from Da, 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 da. Pixies. Okay, so this guy needs like a, a, a chisered pot pie. I don't have the recipe for that, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut here and I'm gonna go and tame uh, another pixie that I actually can feed with the food that I have available. I'll feed it, and when it's ready, then I'll show you how you get the fertilizer from them. So I'll be back. Okay, welcome back. Um, I went out and got um, this here pigsy. Um, fed him his favorite food, which is bread. And then I set a timer to see how long it would take before he went from, or how long it would take before I could actually harvest from him. And it took about 15 minutes, I guess, um, for him to actually um, get into this state. Uh, I'm not sure if that's an exact number or if it's random or if it moves around, but for this 
exercise right here. It took 15 minutes. Um, so now he's ready to go. So <clears throat> since I fed him the bread, which is the food that he likes, um, we're going to get something um, extra from him that we wouldn't normally get. I want to make sure that I've got plenty of room in my inventory. Looks like I got three slots. Let's get rid of these bones. I don't think I ever get anything more than like that. So that should be good. Okay. So we want to, if you notice, I'm targeting that block back there and I really don't want to pick that block up. So I want to just scoot back far enough to where I'm just getting him. Let's see if I scoot forward, now I'm getting the block again. So I just want to get him. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the item out of him. And if you see, it says pigsy droppings right there. Leather and crystal. Okay. So I got these pigsy droppings. That is fertilizer. That's what you use to fertilize plants with. And as you can see, you don't get very much. Um, I hope that uh, possibly Playful will change that to where you can get more. Um, but right now, that's all we've got. So we've got him washed up, and it'll take a few minutes, and he'll be ready to eat again, and then we can grab some more from him. But that's how you get fertilizer, is that right there. Um, so then to use the fertilizer, we're just going to come into our garden, right? Now these have already started to grow. They're in their first stages uh, as a seedling. Um, but all you do is you just put this onto your hot bar like that. Look at the plant and then right click it. And now it says it's fertilized. And it's going to help it to grow faster. So since we're low on wheat seeds, I figured we'd go ahead and use it on the, the wheat seeds. Um, but that's basically farming um, in the gist. You can see here where we're starting to lose some of our uh, tilling. So I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't till um, unless you have enough seeds. To cover the tilt ground um, because it's just going to be a waste of your time um, but yeah um, it's going to take quite a while for your plants to actually grow though so I would encourage you to make a larger garden like this um, I, I might even encourage you to go ahead and just do one crop per chunk um, and then that's going to increase exponentially um, your output of each um, crop that you have. But right now, oh, let's see, now I got to rotate that around. Which we haven't gone over the rotate tool, but we will at some point. So. Um, that's pretty much uh, gardening. Um, it needs to be, you know, to recap, it needs to be, water needs to be one block away. So, so like, if you think of it, if you think of it like this, right? Okay. So we're just going to do this in a, in a kind of a three-dimensional situation so you can kind of understand what it is I'm trying to say here. Um, so if you think of this in a three-dimensional space, water just needs to be like right here. It can be right here. So then this would be hydrated, this would be hydrated, this would be hydrated, this would be hydrated. Um, if the reason I put my water underneath the ground is so that I get you know maximum uh, uh, growing space inside of a chunk, and then uh, also I don't have all these little dips and divots that I have to you know worry about negotiating. Uh, while I'm trying to harvest but so make sure that you have uh, water one block away uh, till the ground uh, plant the seeds the seeds come from putting the actual plant into the processor you're gonna get two per plant you put in the processor uh, plant the seeds 
fertilize if you want to. Um, you're going to need pig seeds to be able to do that, and you're going to need to feed them their preferred food. Uh, wait 15 minutes and then um, extract the uh, fertilizer from them. Put the fertilizer on your hot bar. Come to the plant you want to fertilize. Right click, it'll fertilize it. And then it's just a waiting game. You just need to wait until you know the garden has grown. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut here. Uh, I'm going to work for the next, uh, I don't know, today, maybe tomorrow. Work on getting this entire garden filled up and let it grow completely up. And when it does, then I'll put a little short clip in there just to show you, uh, uh, you know, a progress update on that before I publish this uh, farming tutorial. So again, this is Samco with uh, CoGamers.net and uh, the Shadowcast. And I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's extremely helpful. I hope it clears up how to farm and what's the most efficient way to farm. Um, if you do watch this video and you have uh, any questions, please put them in the comments down below. I will try to get to them as, um, you know, as soon as I can. Um, and until next time, we hope to see you in game. Uh, search for us, uh, cogamers.net. Uh, the password for the Thedriel world is 5507. And I hope to see you soon. And until then, we will see you then.